Good morning. It is February 8th. Um, I just wanted to briefly talk about blade balancing um, for a wind turbine. Extremely important uh, if you actually want to see rated output. Um, this is a jig I made just out of a C-clamp and welded some loose metal uh, and put a alternator bearing in there and this is the rotor from my uh, lantern vertical axis wind turbine you can see the magnets are all gone um, that thing completely self-destructed uh, it was the the black you know chintzy magnets that come on like your refrigerator magnets yeah absolute garbage never saw a watt come out of it uh, when I finally opened it up the magnets had all uh, crumbled and ground up and sheared a bunch of the wires in the stator so that was pretty disappointing waste of two hundred dollars there Anyhow, uh, the rotor happens to be the same size um, as a lot of common micro wind turbines, 17 millimeter, uh, also the same size as common alternator shafts. So it fit inside of this bearing and I threw this together so I could have a cog free level uh, device to mount my blades to um, and there's a lot of mixed information about balancing these turbines um, I've tried it just about every single way um, I tried one of these guys it's a blade balancer for lawnmower blades so I'd oops take my you know let's say there's blades in this this is a hub take this guy and set it on there and then I take this guy a little bead level and you know add weight move it around until that bead was centered and that's statically balanced um, and that might work fine for a lawnmower blade but lawnmower blades don't pitch and yaw like a wind turbine does when it's turning back and forth these blades while they're spinning are, are flexing and you know, so you can't balance um, by adding the weight to the blades. You have to add it to the hub. You have to keep as much weight centered on the structure. Um, and, you know, what I did was literally sat here for an entire evening and waited or you know, I'd give it a little spin and wait for the hub to come to a stop. And then you know, if when there's when there's a heavy blade, it will come to rest downwards. Um, we'll see in just a moment here. This one does not have any rock back. Uh, and that's what you're looking for. When it comes to rest, it should just come to rest. So, this blade is perfectly balanced, and I did that by compensating with weight. This blade was the light blade. Um, I believe it was this one was 9 grams heavier, and this one was... 
one gram heavy. So it was, you know, some guys say to take weight off of the heavy blades. Well, I, I didn't feel comfortable m removing material. So I added weight with lead. Um, that's actually melted down lead that I hammered down, drilled some holes in, bolted down to the hub, and then I continued to add layers of solder. You know, it's not beautiful by any means, but uh, it worked. It worked really good. And I added the lead until it was almost perfect. Um, and then I did the, the fine balancing with paint, actually, um, because it's basically the most organic way you can add a little bit more weight um, to your blades. So I added a little bit more weight to this blade with coats of paint because the paint can flex. It's not like a focused heavy point on that blade. Um, and so I'd you know, spray a little bit more on it, spin it up, wait for it to stop. You know, and wait for that rock back. You know, say, you know, say that was your heavy blade. It would stop and slow down, and it would rock back. Um, so, it's a tedious process, but it's ultimately um, the most important thing you can do with your wind turbine. You know, aside from putting it in the wind. Um, <laughs> if you want to, if you want to see rated power and you want your turbine to last, you want your bearings to last, um, everything internally is just going to work better and last longer if it's not vibrating. If there's even just a little imbalance in here, you can see it when it's up in the air, just shaking. It gets to a certain RPM and it just, bop, 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 bop. And then the vibration goes down the pole, and that's all lost energy. Um, the smoother you can get this thing to run, um, all of that energy is going straight to the rotor and straight to the, to the stator uh, instead of being lost in uh, vibration, which, you know, just radiates away from the... The turbine and the stator where you want all that energy any movement other than just rotating force is a great deal of lost energy so i'm going to get this guy up in the air i'm going to replace my small uh six blade set i was not impressed with uh, they're just too short to catch catch the air these are uh 800 millimeter blades um, and I think they're gonna do a lot better so anyhow that's that uh, good luck